Good morning, modern steaders. The chicks need to go outside. They're all feathered out, they're big, they poop a lot, and they're stinking up the basement, the house. I wasn't expecting to have all the snow still, so I'm trying to figure out what am I gonna do with the chicks? Thank you, Mr. Biggs. I think I can, and I think I came up with an idea. Let me show you. New York. New York City is connected to the greenhouse. So my idea is, is to kick all the chicks out of New York City and not let them have free run. And then we'll come in here. I haven't cleaned this all winter. I'll come in here. I'll remove all the old bedding. Get rid of the duck box. One of the biggest dilemmas though I was having is what do I do with all that bedding? I want to compost it and turn it into beautiful soil for our garden. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to, whoa, darn roosters. I'm gonna have to pile it up in the pig pasture for now because I can't get the Kubota anywhere. I can't get to our existing compost piles because they're all buried in snow. So the shortest run I'm gonna have is from here to there. But once I get it all cleaned out, we're gonna do one more thing to help keep them warm. So I'm gonna clean it out, I'll bring you along with me, hopefully it's not too dirty, and then we'll work on the next step. Gina and Olivia are on home. Gina will be excited to find out when she comes home that the chicks are outside. <laughs> All right, now that we got NYC, New York City cleaned out, let's go get the truck. I got a few things in the bed of the truck we're gonna need. The chickens aren't happy with us. They'll be even more mad once they can't get in at all. Guess we better go kick them out. Hey, come on. Get out of there. They're saying, let me into NYC. Sorry, NYC's closed to you girls. Sorry. with those bales of hay, we've made them a cave that they can go into at night and sleep and stay nice and warm. That way if the temperatures get too cold at night, they can go in there, huddle up, and that hay will be their insulator and it won't let the heat escape them. I think that'll serve them good. Now, we get to go get the chicks. Here's the waterer with horizontal nipples on it and the feeder. Those will work perfectly. All right, they're ready to go out.
27. All right, let's grab some feed. Let's get these chicks offloaded into New York City. And all the chickens are saying, hey, I think we got a new gang in town. Yep. They're ready to come out. They have so much exploring to do. You chickens ain't gonna know what to do. I'm gonna get their feed and their water. You guys hang out in here and see what they do while we're gone. I'm thinking they're still too small for that other feeder, so we're gonna leave the turbo feeder in here for them. And I put their five gallon automatic water in this corner, and then we'll get some water for it. Stick it right here. Let me go grab some water. Water running, there we go. Bring over a couple of the chicks and show them. Oh, you like that, don't you? They'll figure that out pretty fast. Now we get to wait till Gina comes home and surprise her with that. She'll be so excited the basement won't smell like chickens anymore. Well, that's loud. You, yeah, you ready for your surprise? Yeah. All right, follow me. Is there babies in there? What's that? Is there babies in there? I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I do. Oh, you put them outside. I thought you had new ones. No. Oh, yeah. Are they gonna the... be warm enough? Oh, look at that cute little thing. I made him a little cave. Oh, but you gonna keep the other ones out? Yeah. The other ones will be in the greenhouse. Oh. You thought we had new baby babies? Yeah, I didn't know if it was broody hen or something. Oh no. This is even better. I kicked out the... The stinky birds. The stinky birds in the basement. <laughs> the adolescents, the teenagers. Yeah, they have all feathered out. Yep. You think they'll be good? Oh yeah, they'll be plenty warm enough. Mm -hmm. That makes me happy. What are you doing? Waddle, 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 waddle. 
Thanks for coming along on today's journey with us. I'm excited to have the chicks out in New York City and have them in their next phase of life. Get them out of the basement. Yes. It'll be interesting to see what the chickens think of not being able to go into New York City. I guess we'll find out. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.